Welcome to 15 Minute Theatre, the only review show that squeezes a whole production into 900 seconds. The date is Saturday the 18th of March 2023 and we've just been to see the Walworth farce. Open the house. <laughs> Vicky, who are you? I am Zaza. Zaza. Hello. Nice to meet you, Zaza. Well, we know each nice other, don't we, really? Nice to meet you. Nice to meet you. In fact, we, um, we share a house together, don't we? Yeah, we and do. also a love of theatre. Yeah, we absolutely. Right, so Vicky's not around because she's sodded off to Wales. So um, you are going to do a few reviews for me, aren't you? Yeah, here um, we go. It's coming so up. So before, before we do that, what sort of theatre do you like best? I like, I like absurd. Oh yeah. Uh, and creative, experimental, fun, funny, and cultural, culturally infused. Ooh, yeah. culturally infused. Culturally infused. Excellent. Right. Well, we better get on because we have to do this in fifteen minutes, obviously, because it's the name of the show. Yes, All right. right. So I'm going to give you some facts. Okay, so The War with Farce. It was written by Edna Walsh. Um, it was directed by Nikki Olpas. Um, the musical director was Joseph Harris. Uh, the set and the costume designer was Anisha Fields. And our notable actors were Abbott Byrne, Killian Cole, Rochelle Deirdrix, and Dan Sky. Sky. What you will learn is that I never can read my own writing. It was <laughs> it was at the Sonic Playhouse, and I'm afraid yep. it was it's only running until today. Yeah, it's, it's the last time today. Yep. Um, and it's about two hours with an interval. So, could you give us a little synopsis? What's it about? Well, it starts um, with the actors already on the stage. Two of the actors on the stage. Um, one in the middle of the stage. The the elderly figure and somebody in bed and they're sort of mooching about and then it starts and it starts straight up um he's on his chair another actor comes in and they they start just mucking about straight away and you're th thrown into something that seems qu quite directed quite you know, it's, yeah, it seems like it's... Can I just say, that's yeah. not me making that noise, it's my dog it's Columbo dog, yeah. uh, James, drinking some water. <laughs> stop it. Yeah, so it's set in a flat, isn't it, in yeah, um, yeah. South, um, South London, and it's very surreal and very odd, and they're all doing very weird things, aren't they? Yeah, and he's got a sh shaved head. The, yeah. the, guy, the actor takes off his hat, comes in with the shopping, and he takes his hat off, and he's got a bold head right all in right, the middle so we of We're sides. not going to go into too okay, much detail because okay. we'll get lost in the thing. But yeah. basically, as we go along, we find out that there's more to beat the eye than, than this family. They're kind of trapped in this flat, um, recreating the past, aren't they? Um, and playing but it you over don't and know, over yeah, again. Yeah. That's we what don't we know. learn as we go along. Yeah, that's yeah. what we learn as the set. All right, so that's kind of the synopsis. Um, so, first of all, what did you think? Did you like it? I loved it. I loved it. Why did you like it? I loved the movement of it. I loved the wigs, uh, the changing of these wigs and how they became different characters. The pace, I love the pace. The characters, I love. The scenery, I love. It was all right. So let's stick on the kind yeah. of narrative and stuff because right. I liked it instantly. And I thought, oh, yeah. this is brilliant. This is kind of going to be surreal. It's going to be odd. It's going to be strange. And it was all of those things. And they were playing these weird characters and, um, you know, the lad was getting dressed up as a woman and a mother and the wigs helped them to create different characters. Yeah. But what I thought was wonderful about it was, although it was very surreal and absurd at some points, mm. it all made sense. Uh, yeah. As, as you found out, and it was the fact that the father was controlling these kids yeah, and stuff, yeah, yeah, these, yeah. which were now adults, and they like never really experienced the world outside much except going to, was it Tesco? Yes, Tesco's. That's and that's it. Yeah, Tesco's. And it was old Tesco's. Oh yeah, great, great. I loved it. Loved, loved it. it. And um, 
Yeah, you talked about the wigs. So the wigs symbolised different characters, didn't they? Yes, yes. So uh, there was quite a lot of comedy in it where they were swapping wigs around being different things. Yeah. In the first half, did you understand what was going on? I, su- I suppose so. I didn't really feel a need to... I'm not one of those people that goes to the theatre and feels like I need to right. know what's going on. I'm not one of those people because a lot of what I do doesn't... A lot of what we do doesn't really make sense. Yeah. And I like that. Um, so, yeah, edging into it. But what was brilliant is... With the actor, because he's got the cup with the best actor on it. Yeah, which was funny. There was laugh out loud funny bits, yeah. wasn't it? it oh, was, yeah. And then, I suppose all those funny bits as you went along, and we don't want to give loads of spoilers here, but funny bits as you went along became all quite nasty, really, and dark and horrible. And actually, the best actor, the cup, which we're all laughing at, it was quite a horrible, sinister thing, wasn't it? Because... He was making these his children recreate this weird world, and if they got it wrong, he would hit them or beat them or yeah, yeah. scare them about the outside world. Um, so it was only four actors. So we, the three of them um, were obviously the ones trapped in the flat, and then just before the interval, we were treated to um, the female actor who is ba- was basically the shop owner. Uh, shop worked in the in Tesco, mm-hmm. and she, they just forgot the food, so she brought the bag up, and they got stuck in this world. What did you think of her performance? I thought she was lovely. I thought her laugh, her was when when she was happy and her laugh was very bubbly, nice, warm, and infectious. And her it obviously changed when she was captured into the house. Yeah, she couldn't get away, could she? And and, and as she realised what she was stuck in. I mean, her performance was great. She was crying. She, you really felt the fear coming off her, didn't you? You sort of felt as if she was an audience member, in effect, the way that sh- she was observing them yeah. as, a, as a sort of an audience member was, because she was the audience. Yes, in and, and actually, through her, we began to understand what was going on, didn't uh-huh, we? Exactly, yeah, exactly. Yeah. Um, what did you think of um, the direction of how it was staged? I mean, I had a quick chat with the director at the end when I, um, when I um, went to see it, and um, I thought it was really quite inventive and clever. I wasn't bored by any of it, really. It was on the edge of my seat. What did you think of how it was staged? Yeah, lovely, lovely, because they used these different, the different sides, and they had the, the wire of the door so you could see through, but they made it as if it would be difficult to see through yeah. those doors. And when they left the scene, they just went and stand... Well, it was obviously they could go backstage, but in, uh, for our benefit, they would just go and stand in the wardrobe, wouldn't they? Exactly, <laughs> in the cupboards, yeah. The cupboards was back, si- back scene, but that looked... Yeah, you know, but, that in the, looked... but in the world of the play, I suppose it was just uh, the wardrobes. All right. Um, what about the sound of music? So we were treated to this song that kind of haunted us, this Irish song all the way through. Yes. What did we think about that? Lovely. Yeah, it was all right. It wasn't... I, didn't, I wasn't riveted by it, really, uh, but it worked for the story. Um... Is there anything you didn't like? Uh, what did I not like? Oof. Um, you go first. Um, well, I haven't really got anything to say, really. I mean, no, I, 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 liked, I liked the design. I liked the way it was formed. I loved the story. Um, so, no, I, I think I was pretty happy with it all, really. I think so as well. It was... It was engaging. It kept me. Yeah, there was funny bits. It was fast. It was there wasn't areas where it was a bit too long. There was because there was other bits going on as yeah. as there, as they were playing their bit there. There was either her, she was. Yeah, it watching, got more and more layered with the you, reality, didn't it? It was layered. Yeah, yeah, so you could see her doing something, or you could see the other one who yeah. wasn't on the scene. So it was always, or the father was there watching them. So it was always very stimulating. And oh, stimulating and. Mm. What was your standout moment? Sta- oh, okay. So my, I was at the end of, edge of my seat when she, they were trying to get the bag, and he threw. He, she said, "Right, there's my phone in the bag." Um, that was had me quite. Oh, scary, scary, Mary. Um, but also <laughs> at the end when he put the cream on his face and he yeah. was just about. So he that was the last bit, but he was. We thought he was going to leave. And when he actually did what he did at the yeah. end, you know, so he couldn't he couldn't actually bring himself to leave. He was just trapped in the world. But we thought really. that she, he, we were going. I was so excited for him to leave with her and, yeah. and have this great relationship with this 
Maybe. But it makes so much sense it because does. if if you this is all you know, why would you try and stop it and just continue but, the but world? But how would you? How would you exactly. know to stop it? Exactly. Because that's what you what you've been, and that is what it is. Isn't I suppose it? the only thing that falls down is obviously the guy had to go to Tesco every day to get the same food, um, so he would see the outside world, which he gets told you must. Like all so that's why he was a little bit more yeah. saying, "Come on, we can get out." All right. So let's take a break and then we'll come back and we'll store it. Lovely. Okay, so audience antics. So this is the part of the show where we talk about any antics that we have with the audience. Mm. Well, what I'm going to talk about today is the fact that, well, we actually went to see this on different days, didn't we? we? Did, yeah. And when I went to see it, we went to the Summer Playhouse, and Cal Surprise, it wasn't there. Mm. It was at a different theatre, mm. 10 minutes away. Um, so we had to kind of rush along to do it, which put me in a bad mood to start with. Mm-hmm. So it looked like it was a very good play, or I would not have been happy. Mm-hmm. Right, okay, shall we score it, Zaza? Yeah, and I will say that they didn't mention there was a pillar right in front of the seats that I bought. Mm. So that was, was a it, bit annoying. Was it full? And, I, and the guy who I went with is a little bit of a theatre sort of, you know, connoisseur, and he was a bit edgy about that. And yeah, I that would have annoyed me, really. Yeah, so we had to move a bit of seats, and I kept on being worried about him. And there was a few latecomers, which was a bit annoying. That annoys me as well. All right, well, let's mark it. Okay, so... Performances out of ten, please. Oh, they were so good. I got give them, yeah, they got them ten out of ten. Oh, yeah. gonna give them a nine. Narrative, plot, story. Uh, I go with another n- nine. A nine from me. Staging and technical. Nine, ten. Oh, do you know what? I'm gonna give it a ten as well. I really liked it. Originality gets a ten from me. Yeah, ten from me. Oh, and um, sound and music. Sound and music. I'm going to give it a f- five, because I'm all about keen on it. I'm actually going to give it an eight, because I don't think Ooh. it needed it. I don't think it needed it. So, right, it okay. Was, it, was, it was set for it. Okay, well, that sounds fair enough. All right, so now it's got a nine, 38, 43. So what I am going to do now is... Right, so I have to add the scores up. Usually Vicky talks about what we're going to see next. What are you going to see next? B- Village Idiot at the Stratford play at Stratford. Okay. And Sylvia. Uh, a few things, but it depends what we will see together. Okay, I have now got the star rating in. I can tell you that the Walworth class gets a star rating. Re- um, you know, star. A 50 minute theatre rating of 4.5 yeah, stars. Yeah, wicked. I love it. Pretty good, which puts really it right good. at the top of our leaderboards because then we haven't been love to see it. anything else this year. Love the Irish. Okay, so thank you very much for joining me today. Lovely. I think we're going to have a, a whole lot of fun in our 15 minute theatre. I love that. Who one. needs Vicky, hey? Only kidding. Vicky, love you, Vicky. Love you, Vicky. Oh, thank goodness. And that awkward moment, that's the theatre bell. That means. Theatre's dark. Oh, psh, I can't remember my last line because I've got it written down. Whoops. The, the, how, the house and the theatre's dark, the house is quiet, and that was 15 Minute Theatre. Goodbye. Ew. <laughs>